Okay, default tongue position. Uh, this is something that, that I explain to my patients a lot, especially when uh, you can't really touch their headaches. And sometimes their headaches come on when they're in a static position, they're, they're just on their, uh, on their computers or whatever it is. Uh, when the muscles that are at the back of the jaw and kind of like inside in the back of the throat, they get really tense sometimes and it's completely uh, uncontrolled, right? So your subconscious is really uh, activating those muscles. And often if you can get uh, in contact with those, those muscles and get more control over them, you can reduce sometimes the, the onsets of headaches, you can reduce the intensity and duration of the headaches simply by allowing those muscles to calm down. Now, how do you do that? So this is where the default tongue position comes into play. Now what it is, is that you're trying to get the tongue, I'm going to flip this upside down, you're going to get the tip of the tongue to line up with the top tooth and gum line. The back of the tongue, so pretend my finger represents the back of the tongue, what you want is for the tongue to drop down, trying to drop down to the back of the throat. In order to do that, you physically have to relax all of the muscles that attach along the side of the skull, in the jaw, in the throat, right? and it, it allows you to gain more control of those muscles that may otherwise be tensed, right? I find I, I get really tensed, especially in the, uh, in the back of the jaw and, and a little bit in the front of the neck when I'm doing dishes. It's the silliest thing, but I notice that I just tense up. So this is my time to actually tune in to which muscles are activating, get control of them, calm them down. I find if I, if I don't do that, then this, this cascade of like tension and uh, basically the, the start of a headache will ensue simply because I'm not controlling those muscles as I should. So create awareness. Try the default tongue position. This is the, where your tongue should be. Say if you're reading, if you're driving, if you're listening to somebody in a conversation, anything like that. Tip of the tongue, top of the teeth line, back of the tongue droops down towards the back of the throat. You should actually feel the ears hmm, drop down. Try it.